in this video we are going to study fourth ventricle okay let's get let's just get started with the location of the fourth ventricle first now we need to focus on this picture fourth ventricle is basically a tent shaped cavity right as you guys can see here this one it is located anterior to the cerebellum this is the cerebellum and here it is located so it is located anterior to cerebellum and we say that posterior to the pons and the upper part of the medulla oblongata right superiorly it is continuous with the cerebral aqueduct uh, of the midbrain and inferiorly it is continuous with the central canal of the spinal cord it is lined by ependyma now discussing the posterior wall of the fourth ventricle also known as the roof the posterior wall or the roof of the fourth ventricle is formed by focus on this picture is formed um if you guys can see it is formed superiorly by the superior medullary velum and inferiorly this is the inferior medullary velum basically the superior and inferior medullary velums are actually a thin lamina of the white matter right okay Uh, I have told you that it is formed superiorly by the superior medullary velum and inferiorly by the inferior medullary velum, which is too easy to understand. Now, if you guys trace the inferior medullary velum, you see here you will find uh, an aperture. Basically, this is known as median aperture or foramen of Majendi. Right. The basic uh, purpose of the function of this apertures is that this basically we know that the fourth ventricle it is lined by ependyma and uh, it it is responsible for the, um, the production of CSF and contains CSF uh, in it. So the CSF communicates from the moves basically from the fourth ventricle to the subarachnoid space. Got it. now uh, it is not visible in this picture but we have on the lateral side we have on the lateral side we have two foramen which is are basically the foramen of lashka considering the boundaries of the fourth ventricle we have got lat two lateral boundaries a floor and a roof the floor of the fourth ventricle is also known as the rhomboid fossa and the roof is also known as the posterior wall let's just start with the lateral boundary okay we say that the lateral boundary of the four these are the there will be the this is actually the posterior view of the fourth ventricle but considering that these are the lateral boundaries right so the lateral boundaries in its cranial part it is formed by the superior say uh, the superior cerebellar peduncle basically for a better view right here if you guys can di differentiate this one is the superior cerebellar peduncle and in its cranial part it is formed by superior cerebellar peduncle and its caudal part it is formed by the inferior cerebellar peduncle right on the both sides okay now the uh, okay next is the basically the most important or the most important uh, asked question and the diagram is really really important make sure you guys practice it practice it many times um acha the floor of fourth ventricle which is the most important one you guys need to understand first that it is basically formed by uh, it is a diamond shaped theek hai it is diamond shaped and it is formed by pons in the upper half uh, uh, pons and the upper half of medulla right the whole of the pons and only the cranial or the upper part of the medulla oblongata as we have discussed in the location uh, should be very clear to you okay now moving on to the details in the center we have a in center of this this is the median sulcus right if you move laterally to the median sulcus this is the median eminence on the both sides we have median eminence if we trace median eminence in fairly median eminence is known as this swelling this is known as facial colliculus basically this is known as facial colliculus it has um the nucleus of abducens nerve uh, the nucleus of abducens is surrounded by the fibers from the facial nerve forming a sw uh, swelling known as the facial colliculus lateral to this swelling we have this area which is known as the vestibular area if we move more laterally from the vestibular area this is the sulcus limitans right this is the sulcus limitans now superior part of the sulcus limitans somewhat here right a superior part of the sulcus limit okay these horizontal nerve fibers are known as stria medullaris these actually arise from the arcuate nuclei and they run horizontally right now if we move inferior to the stria medullaris here in this picture in this picture if you guys can see this is the hypoglossal triangle this one 
and the one a little inferior and lateral to it is the vagal triangle and this is area postrema right now inferior to this moving on next we have this is the posterior median sulcus and the nuclei the tubercle sorry the tubercle which is present medially is the gracile tubercle and the one la present laterally is the cuneate tubercle thus concluding the fourth ventricle um, you need to know about the boundaries of the fourth ventricle and most importantly the flow of the fourth ventricle and you guys need to learn uh, and practice the diagram which is actually really important important and it mostly comes in the exam